Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. <coughs> okay guys, so we're here in the parking lot of Target. Stephanie's second home, if you guys don't know. For real, I think <laughs> it's everybody's second home. It's the place where you spend a lot more than you expected. You come out with five pillows, two dogs. And you don't even have a house. One banana and like maybe a lotion. <laughs> Damn, that's some random ass shit. Maybe 20 lotions. Anyway. Butt wipes. We need some. But uh, basic. Oh, yeah, for real. <laughs> you need some. Not embarrassed. F it. Not embarrassed because what? Because. Clean. Because we need to wipe <laughs> our ass with wipies. All right, let's switch up the combo. Anyway. So the reason why we are here today is because we are going to be trying some snacks like the Japanese, Chinese area. We're just excited because me and Stephanie, okay, so me personally, the way we are, Stephanie likes the same shit all the time. You know what I mean? That's why I'm the same shit. I'm with her all the time. You Wait, what do you mean like that? Like, what do you mean by that? Like, so you like, we're like, oh, let's go try out this different restaurant. She'll say no, but I have to be like, no, we're doing it. Once we're there, she'll love it. But Stephanie's, I want the same restaurant. I want the same food. I want the same it's thing. It's because like, I know what I like already. And then like, if we visit a new spot and we get something that I don't like, it kind of ruins it for me, especially if someone didn't yeah. like recommend me something like, oh, you have to go here and try this out. Like if, if no one has done that for me, you know, yeah, and they tried it out, it's and a told hit or me miss, about it, then it's, then it's kind of like, oh, you know what? That one thing that we tried out and the, killed it for me, and I don't want to go back. And the sad part is, like, let's say you try <laughs> that one thing at that restaurant, and it's not good, but there's probably something there that you yeah, probably would have liked. That is even, the thing that I am missing. And you out never on. go back there again because that one thing kind of messed it up. No, but there's times where I do like try things out, and then I'm like, okay, like that was pretty good. Like I'll come back, or there'll be like times that I don't really like something but i like what you got yeah which is the reason why we always get two different dishes because we get to try each other yeah anyway what do you mean by that each other's food bell <laughs> <laughs> she's so funny guys look at her she's hilarious anyway anyways moving on vibes. i love that should we have choro merch <laughs> White shirt, we brown it, design. We put it on a brown shirt. We put it on a, a caca green. Oh uh, no, the back of the shirt, like the very back bottom has like poop stains. So it looks like you like sh shitty yourself. Would you guys buy Choro merch? Let us know in the comments down below. No, uh, we are not doing that. Pre orders start tomorrow. Place your order now. <laughs> no, yeah, so um, we're pretty excited about this because We've been to Target, right? And we've seen like snacks like this, like all over the place, but obviously we're in our comfort zone. Uh, we grew up, we're both like 100% Mexican. Um, Stephanie has some mix in her as well, but for the most part, we're 100% Mexican. Tradition to our Mexican candies, Mexican snacks. We'll do some American snacks as well here and there, just because obviously we're in the US, you know what I mean? Majority. Like this I, guy just walked by with goldfish. That's a, that's an American food, right? I don't even know. I think that's considered American. Honestly, I'm not really gonna know what is what to be honest. But right. we are. I looked it up on uh, Google, and I also went on the Target app, and I looked up certain things. Like, I literally put Japanese snacks. So hold on, let me show you guys. So I put Japanese snacks. I don't know if you can really see because of the glare, but basically. It just showed me certain things like that. So anyway. Yeah, so we're gonna go based on what Target recommends as yeah. far as like Japanese, Chinese. There's like seaweed snacks. Are you down to try that? I'm down to try anything. Like I'm pretty right. curious. Let's get it in. All right guys, if you guys can't tell, I'm fucking excited. You know what I mean? So is Stephanie, but um, mostly me. So um, we're excited. So I didn't know this and I think Stephanie did. I feel like she didn't, but she's saying that she did. Did what? you know that this aisle was here? Yeah. Really? What do you guys, what do you guys think? Do you think Stephanie knew? Did you guys know that there was um, like its own aisle for Japanese? Well, or it's, it says global actually. But it says like global stuff, which is pretty cool, huh? Yeah. I guess. I think I'm craving a soup low key. So this is everything that it shows right here that we can get. It looks yeah, pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Is which this one is considered? It? Um... Yeah, I would think so. Okay. No, no, we should try something like this look. This looks like more, um, like the style, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, see, Japanese style noodles and original flavor too. <gasps> Let's try these, these look low-key pretty good. Wait, does it have like shrimp? Sapporo Ichiban. I wish we knew like if this was a good brand, huh? Like if somebody could like tell us, oh yeah, get these, these are really good, huh? Huh. Yeah, I got the chills, did you get chills too? <laughs> she was like, oh, like All right, so as far as chips, shrimp chips baked. So Stephanie's 
allergic to shrimp. Should we still try them or what? I think I'm allergic, but I don't really truly know. Should we try it? I don't know, but I want to try this sticky rice. Sticky rice? Okay, so it looks like there's some candies right here, you guys. So we're going to try these. Puchao. How would you say that? Puchao? Oh, these are made in Japan, too. That was Ew. badass. That's a little school. Oh, wait, what flavor is that? Oh, melon. I feel like um, I see that a lot of Jap Japanese and Chinese like candies, they have mango and melon flavors, I feel like I've seen. And there's also this one too, which looks pretty cool. These pokey things, I think they're, they were made in uh, Japan too, probably, no? But we've tried them too, huh? We've we tried them for... We should try the uh, cookies and cream I or what? I got the matcha. Oh, sorry. These are definitely not um, Japanese candies, but these are for later. We'll put these next to our uh, wipes. <laughs> We'll cover those. Ew, look at the panda orange chicken. Oh yeah, so we definitely know about that one, huh? We should use our um, chicken nuggets, <gasps> chicken tenders from um, from Costco. The ones that taste and like chicken. I think we have orange sauce already, no? No, I threw it away because we never used it. Okay, I'm done to eat that tonight with Ooh, some rice. Let's get this without sticky rice. Okay, deal. Wait, get, get two white rices then. No, one's fine. Look. And then we have noodles too. Yeah, we're trying all the way. Okay, fuck. You know what, just put all the shit in there, fuck. All right then guys, so we made it back home and now it's the Malachi show. He's in. So for today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I eat my butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm calling you out, chill little boy. Yeah, in the middle of the night, I'm like, what's that noise? And Malachi's just going at it all. I hate that noise. Oh, Stephanie hates that noise. He's like, guilty as charged, Malachi. So yeah, so if you guys didn't see what we got, we ended up getting these, which we're gonna try out. These, which we're gonna try out. Gonna try these, them. these, yeah, we're gonna try all of them, but. And obviously we already know what this tastes like, but who knows if it tastes like the actual one from Panda. Wait, you didn't get the noodles? The noodles. The noodles. Actually, I have some that I haven't tried, but we have these. Okay, yeah, so we'll try these then. So I actually bought these like, I bought this one like a month or something. It looks like this one's made here or what in the States. Best by June 5th, 2023. We love. Okay, so we're going to do this with this white rice with noodles. No, we're doing this with the orange chicken. Yeah, right. But and we're going to eat those three right now. You know what I mean? We're doing chow mein and um, noodles. Yeah. So we got these right here. These are the Just Bear Lightly Breaded Chicken Breast Chunks. And what did you think of them? Chunk? They're, they're very much very good. <laughs> so as you can tell, we haven't started reading the dictionary yet. All right, yet. class, welcome to mm, my classroom. Uh -huh, so today I'm going to be telling you about these Just Bear Chicken Nuggets. Um, I'm just here to let you know that they are um, from Costco. We got them at Costco, and they taste like the, the Chick-fil-A um, um, chicken nuggets. Uh -huh. So we're going to try these, and we're going to put the orange chicken sauce all over it. But... Um, I think the way that Panda Express does it, I think that they deep fry. Yeah, they deep fry, but we're gonna air fry because we love our air fryer, huh? But I we... think they deep fry their chicken and then they like stir fry yeah. it or whatever. Well, we're gonna do the same thing. The sauce. But air fried version. Yeah. Okay guys, so I just put the chicken tenders or chicken nuggets, whatever you want to call them, in the air fryer. I put them for um, 10 minutes, 350 degrees. Let's see how it comes out. I kind of like the nuggets to be kind of like more crispier and more well done. So we'll see what that looks like. Right now I am boiling some water on the stove top. I'm gonna to be making these noodles. It says they are the shin noodle soup. Let me know if you guys have tried this before. I've never had it before. I actually picked this up, not today, but I picked it up probably like two weeks ago. And I was like, ooh, like for some reason I was just craving something like a soup, like a top ramen kind of soup. But I was like, I want something different, something I've never tried. So I picked this up and I'm glad we're finally gonna try it on you know, camera, so that way you guys can see my reaction and Jesus' reaction to see what it tastes like. And so yeah, I'm boiling the water. Look how this looks. It's like a circle, literally a perfect circle. Oh my God, look, it's as big as my head. Bell, hmm. look how big this is. Damn. Like my forehead. Love that shit. How big in my forehead. I don't think it's that close. <gasps> the soup base, I'm guessing this is like the flavor. Like the, maybe like the chicken or beef flavoring or whatever it is. But, um, yeah. It doesn't say to crack it or anything. I usually like to break it apart, but we'll keep it regular. And then it says to also add these in already. 
I was reading the instructions right here. It says to add basically everything all together. Cook for four and a half minutes, stir occasionally, and then remove heat and serve. All right. Ooh, this looks spicy. Oh yeah, I did say it was spicy, so it's like red. Dang, that's a lot. That's freaking more than the top ramen one gives you. Ooh, it's starting to boil. These are the vegetables. Oh my God, is this thing gonna freaking explode? Now that I think about it, I think I put too much water. But we're good. Okay guys, moving on to this white rice. It says to literally just peel this off. Oh wow, so this one's like hella easy. So basically you're just gonna peel it up to this line. You don't like open it all the way. And then we just put it in the microwave for a minute. So I guess everything's looking ready. The soup is looking ready and the chicken is ready. Let's look at them. This soup though is looking delicious, very spicy. My mouth is honestly getting kind of watery. <clears throat> Ready for that one. Let's put this in there just like that, I guess, for one minute. So I moved the chicken over to this pan on top of the stove. I heated it up and I added the orange sauce. This looks actually really good, really delicious. I can't wait to try this one. All right, so me and Stephanie cooked all of this food right now. We're pretty Nah, Stephanie cooked it all up. I was doing some work on my computer, but now we're ready to eat. How about, are you excited? Excited. I'm especially excited for the orange chicken. It's like right here. Yeah, so all of our snacks, we're going to wait for a little bit. We're going to do all of the food because we haven't ate since like what time? It doesn't matter. Let's just go. We haven't ate since like, doesn't matter. Hold up. Okay, so we do need to try the white rice. With, with the seafood? All right. Yeah, let's so try. we are going to try these right here. This is the sea salt and avocado oil seaweed, so. And this is Annie Chun's white rice. So pretty exciting. <clears throat> I mean, the white rice smells like white rice. I already had a little taste of that. Looks like white rice? Hey, cheater. I actually heard that seaweed is really good for you. I'm like really scared right now. How do you do this? I don't know, just kind of roll it up like a taco. All right, let's see. If you guys don't know, I hate veggies, all right? You guys already know this. Put a bunch of rice. So this isn't looking too prosper. Make it like a little sushi roll with seaweed. What I am craving is sushi. I mean, fun fact, you guys, me and Stephanie never liked sushi, but then again, we can't really say that because we never really tried it. But now, me and Stephanie really like sushi and we want to go eat somewhere that's sushi. Hold on, I want to try it. What if we don't like it? Ready, cheers. I think it's supposed to be plain, no? All right, guys, you guys see it? We made little taquitos. taquitos. Cheers. That's all. It tastes like fish. It kind of tastes like what, sushi. That trips me out. Wait, that's seaweed. Why does it taste like yeah, it's oh, it's, seaweed? It's seaweed. Yeah. I'm high now because of the weed. You know what? <laughs> it's kind of good, but I think the thing is that we just ate it with white rice. Like I feel like I need avocado. I need like some kind of some like chicken. Ooh. Like something in it. Oh. A hot Cheeto. I, I can tell you didn't like it. Why? Because you left half of it. I mean, it wasn't my fave, all right? So. I rated a, um, a four out of 10. I, I, I concur with that prospering four. Why, you, why are you saying big words that I don't even, does that even go? I can't with your um, acer. Anyways. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, so I would give it a four as well. Um, it tastes so much like sushi. That's what's tripping me out because- Well, you do know they make they sushi rolls that, like that. They put that in the sushi, huh? So that's probably what gives it that taste. Well, the ones that we try, um, they're wrapped in like- Rice, but I think this has yeah, it too. Yeah, it's just rice with like avocado inside and like some shrimp and I'm stuff. I'm sorry if we're not like um, knowledgeable in this stuff. Uh, we're barely getting into it. All right. Yeah, I'm kind of scared that I have seaweed all over my teeth. All right, so next is next. Um, I thought we were gonna try the white rice with like orange chicken. Yeah, true. So let's uh, let's make a little plate. Okay, so we're gonna do, we have some white rice, the orange chicken. Obviously we we're big fans of the orange chicken. Um, let us know in the comments down below. Does that count if we got Panda Express sauce? <laughs> you know what I mean? Honestly, I feel like it doesn't count, but I don't know. Do they have Panda Express in China? Do they or no? I don't know. That's a good question. That's a good question that we don't know how to answer. Shucks, all right, well, damn. It's like, has like a, uh, like a strong smell that hit my throat and like grabbed it really tight and almost made me choke right now. All right, Chavez, okay. Mmm, okay. That was a pretty good. It's got a little spice to it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's pretty good. It's cause it was like sweet chili something. If it gives you the chills, that shit is 
verified. You know what I mean? I'm just a little freaked out because when I open the package, it smells like Play Doh. This one is the, the one that smells like Play Doh. <laughs> just kidding. No, it tastes good, guys. So it's really good. I just feel like it needs to like probably stay overnight or something like so that sauce can like marinate into the noodle. It's really good though. Bomb. If you guys want to try it. Sell them at Target. Sell them at Target. These are, uh, actually, them. no, we actually got those at Winco. Really? Yeah. Okay, let's save them because I want to eat them with the orange chicken. But let's yeah. move on to the other noodles. A ver lo que tenemos aquí. We're excited. This right here is the shin noodle soup. Shin? Yeah. Why not calf? That's a good question. <laughs> what are you for? All right. So we're excited to try this, you guys. Go ahead. This one's supposed to be spicy as well. This really? one looks really good, actually. It looks softer than this, the other noodle, like yeah. the texture. This one looks like top ramen, just spicy. Okay, let's see. Cheers! I think that's like what a thing. That? I feel like that's a thing that they, um, that I see a lot in like in movies. What? Is that they eat a lot of, like people in Japan, in uh, China, they eat a lot of noodles. Oh yeah, noodles and like rice. Huh. And veggies. And then we eat a lot of beans. Huh. Yeah. Beans and rice, but I feel like everybody kind of incorporates rice into their meal, huh? Yeah, and they eat it with chopsticks. I think we did this wrong. I, I'm not good with chopsticks, but Stephanie's really good with chopsticks. I'm pretty good at chopsticks. Um, I need like I need like the uh, the trainer wheels on oh, the yeah. chopsticks. You need like the straw, like yeah. two chopsticks with a straw, and then yeah. you just bend it. <laughs> I've only seen like professional chopstickers. Um, chopstickers. Use chopsticks on soup. Can you believe that shit? They like bring up the juice with the chopsticks. Oh wait, we didn't rate the noodles. Oh, yeah, it's an eight out of 10, I think. Oh, okay, yeah, oh. I think eight out of 10 is a good one. Okay, too. so okay. ready? Cheddis. Cheddis. Mmm. 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 Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My Mexican ass wants to put some tapatio, though. <clears throat> it's already spicy. Oh shit, that shit came in hot, hold on. No, that, that's- That shit was like, all right, it's good. Sana colita de rana on your throat all. Wait, this is really good. This is literally just top ramen noodle. The, the spice comes in later though, huh? I mean, I guess. Are you good? Yeah. Oh, I got scared. Yeah, so this one's really good again. This one's a 10 out of 10. Nine, I'd give it a nine. Why? What do you mean nine? Why nine? Oh no, What's okay. wrong with it? Um, then, well, why minus one? So the initial flavor, don't taste it too much, but then it kicks in. But would you get this, or would you get a uh, cup of noodles, or top ramen instead? It's the same thing. I would get either or. If they yeah, ran out right. of top ramen, it's the same thing. Yeah, you're right. So the noodles, both of the noodles that we've tried, 10 out of 10, all right, mm. so. Mm -hmm. This one's a soup though. That is a big plus. Mm -hmm. You know, we need to do that more. What is it called, pho, huh? Pho. Pho. We need to definitely try pho more often. I have a lot of friends that I just watch them on their Snapchat stories, Instagram stories. They're always eating pho. Dang, this is really good. It's a little extra spicy. Mm -hmm. But I think pho, you can like put like meats in it. I, yeah, pho is like, I think we've had it before. Are you good? No, I don't think we've tried it. Yeah, we have. Damn, all right. So it feels like I'm eating hot Cheetos low key with soup. It's bomb though. I'm like really gonna enjoy. The white rice I've always liked, but you need to mix it with something, you know what I mean? Like we just had Chipotle this morning and we put rice with beans and queso and yeah. cheese and, and sour cream. <clears throat> Let me get a little bit of water. I'm this excited. is really good. I think I'm gonna finish this one myself. Oh, I'm gonna finish it myself. Okay, we can split it. All right, we'll split it. All right, bring in that orange chicken. All right. Put so we've never away. tried this. Um, first timers. I know, first timers. <laughs> Save the best for last. Look, shit, we have memberships at Panda Express, all right? You wanna get that little um, orange chicken bowl? I mean, the rice? Oh yeah. Oh, and then I need well, I want to eat it with the noodles alone. But that's a sofa bill. I know, but like, Hold on, a, wait, panda, wait. a panda we eat like chow mein with- But this one's not, this one's a soup. This one's ramen. I mean, yeah. Oh, okay. Stephanie knows, all right, guys? So, we're gonna try the orange chicken. For the first time ever, never DIY, tried. DIY, DIY. We've had the original one from Panda Express. Sniff taste, pretty similar to panda. I don't think it smells like the panda one. Yeah. Or what? Yeah. All right, cheers. Cheddis. And this is obviously not the chicken from panda, but ready? Oh my god. <laughs> some noodles. Mm, those. Mm -hmm. Verified. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have a fucking fire, man. Mm -hmm. You hear me, dude? Mm -hmm. It's a fire, mama. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one? One second, hold on. It's just good, all the way. It's just bomb, though, huh? Wait, some white rice? Oh, yeah, put that shit in there. Hold on, hold on. 
There's some seaweed. Mm -hmm. So probably not the seaweed, but. Some more rice. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get some of the white rice. Oh, yeah. Good, good mouth. No way to go. You can tell this one was our favorite. Oh yeah, I definitely recommend this, you guys. This is definitely going into like the three different food items that we made to like for dinner. Mm. I mean, we only have three different things we make, so this is going to be our fourth. Pasta, chicken, and rice. That's all we eat. So bomb. This is this is definitely gonna be a plate. So this is gonna be something that I'm gonna tell Stephanie. Hey, I'm craving this. Hello. Make this Why doesn't it get off the fork? Hello, you're not on the phone. <laughs> all right, then guys, so now we're moving on to the snacks. The best thing. part. Uh, and all of these say that they're made from Japan. I know these are gonna be bomb. Oh, they're gonna be bomb. Either way, it's a good snack. So. Okay, so we're gonna do something pretty fun, all right? It's fun for us. We're gonna rate what we think they are, and then we're gonna rate what we thought they are, and see if we're pretty accurate on them, all right? All so right. let's see if we can agree. I'm gonna go like this. From like least no, to No, like greatest. this is the best to the best to worst. So first favorite, second favorite, third, fourth. What do you think? Would you agree on it? I think, um, right. I'm thinking it's gonna be like this. <clears throat> it could be like that too. I'll agree with that too. We're gonna try the, I don't know how to pronounce it, if it's Pocky or Pokey sticks, but I've had these in like ice cream and stuff and it's really good. Oh, are they? All right, let's see. Hello? Have you tried the cookies and cream one though exactly or no? This one broke. Here. Like this is like me and you, but being like clingy and attached. Oh, I love that. We have to pull it. No, and it's but good I luck. have to be the little one. No, we have to pull it, and it's good luck. Ready? Oh, okay. okay. Ready? One, two. <gasps> Cheers. Fun. I say fun. Is that what you guys think is fun? No. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. These are really good. Mm. I've always because it's basically a pretzel, right? They put it in ice cream, song. Huh? Is this a pretzel? I think so. Yeah. I think it's a pretzel with literally like cookies and cream icing or something. So we've had these chocolate. before. Like we literally have something in the cabinet that has pretzel, chocolate, caramel. If you're wondering what this tastes like, it literally tastes kind of like a, a so unsalted pretzel. Mm -hmm. A very thin unsalted pretzel maybe, or maybe like a wafer. That one was for sure 10 out of 10. So these are called Puchao. Let me know if uh, any of these candies are you guys' favorites. But. Ooh, what flavor are we getting? I come try strawberry. That's, um, that has to be the best. You one. have to get the mango one. You love mango. I'll just, we'll do strawberry first and then mango. Well, they look like Starburst. Melon. They literally look like Starburst, you guys, don't they? Literally Starburst. Hello. Mm. Damn. This is hard. It's Starburst, but with a different texture, a little bit. Wait, why does it taste like rubbery? My sweet tooth. Said no. And my dentist hate me right now. <laughs> it's like. Gum. Is this chicle? No. Ew. What is that? Cause I'm eating it. Is it chicle? <laughs> It's not taking forever to finish. You know when you bite into a Starburst and like the tackiness and like the stickiness kind of sticks into your like teeth? But it goes away a little bit. This one doesn't do that. It's kind of like a mixture of gum and like a Starburst. Yeah, but I'm trying to explain how like this one doesn't do that because I feel like it stays together the whole time. Uh -huh. All right, so next ones, you guys. So it seems like it's the same brand, Puchao. Uh, but this is bubbly soda flavor. Honestly, I don't think this one's gonna be good at all. There's cola or ramoon soda. Ooh, I'm kind of nervous, excited. It's definitely coke. That's so crazy. This tastes like if I already got no, ma'am. If an ice cube was inside the coke for a while, no, ma'am. And I bit the ice cube. That's literally what it tastes like. It's all right, but it's like sour-ish. It's me. giving window cleaner vibe. Yeah. Oh, well, low key. <laughs> like I just cleaned the shit out of my mouth with that right now. We don't know how we feel about these. All right. We're not big fans of shrimp originally, but I feel like I'm not a big fan of shrimp because I love chicken nuggets so much <laughs> that like <laughs> that you have to stay loyal. Shrimp just tastes fake. You know what I mean? Like it's just like the brother that you don't like. People you know can mean? say that about that the other way around. You think so? I don't know. There's people who love seafood and they're like, chicken is not aces. Really? Yeah, true. I'm but a big chicken it's fan. Just, it's just the texture throws me off because I'm expecting chicken, but it's similar to chicken, but just a different taste. Yeah, I'm so. kind of scared about these, but not really. Just open it like a regular bag. Oh, uh, are you ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Stephanie, a little. Actually, they're pretty good. Literally just tastes like Chorritos. Yeah, so our battery died, so we had to get a new battery, so that's why we're switching it up, but we're pretty much done. Um, these were all right. The shrimp uh, chips that we had, they were decent, you know what I mean? Like, at first they tasted like the Chorritos I was talking about, but... Probably because we had like the, the sweetness. The sweetness of it? Yeah, stuff. but the shrimp started to come in and I, I started like, it didn't make it far. <laughs> I didn't really like them too much. Let us know in the comments down below, you guys, if you guys enjoyed yeah. this video. Would you guys like to see us try 
uh, maybe snacks or food of a different culture, let us know in the comments down below. We really enjoyed it. Something different, because every single time we go to like a new restaurant, try new foods, it's maybe always a different seafood, experience. You know? <laughs> maybe seafood. But oh, I would not eat like no seafood. crocodile shark. Like, that's kind of like weird, I don't know. But that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it as much as we did, huh? But did you enjoy it? I enjoyed it. I think my favorite thing from the dessert was the pocky sticks. Pokey the pokey sticks. sticks? Yeah, the pokey sticks were good. I think the list that we showed you guys in the beginning is literally how it went. But without further ado, thanks for watching. We we'll love you guys, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.